Hey everybody, it's Michael from ScaleHeliPilot.com. This is a Heli Classics KA32, and the purpose of this video is not to tell you to run out and buy a KA32, it's just to show you what phenomenal engineering can bring in terms of model configuration, modularity, and ease of maintenance. Matthias Strupp, who is Heli Classics, has, in my mind, created the best engineered helicopter model in the world, both in terms of flight characteristics, but also in terms of how it works when you need to fix something. And I'm going to take you around the helicopter and show you the modular design and the absolute genius that goes into this model. Starting with the rear hatch, this is typical of a Heli Classics model that, that large pieces are held on with magnets. And this piece here will just snap into place and so will the front canopy. This entire assembly simply slides on to the front of the helicopter. And you might think, how am I going to get this attached with bolts from behind when I can't get in there? You certainly don't have to get in there this way. But what Matthias did, if we swing the boom arm out, is he has fashioned a handled rod with a bolt threaded end that operates as the bolt, but it's connected to this rod. So this rod never comes out. All you have to do is spin it, turn it one way or the other, and this secures the bolt in the front. Um, in addition to that, what Matthias sends with the kit is an elongated custom-made hex wrench that is useful for reaching some of the other bolts inside the mechanics. Let's dive into the fuselage and take a look at the tail. Four bolts, that's it. Now just in terms of scale detail, look at the, the hoses and the weathering and the operational boom that's connected to a servo that you can see back in here. And so this thing will swing out and then there's a winch located inside and it will lower uh, this assembly, which is attached to a snorkel. And you can do this during flight. Uh, <laughs> I recommend a sequencer. And, uh, and it adds such a cool scale element. The coaxial head on this is a work of engineering art. Look at the complexity of this assembly. And the double swash and all of the actuators work in concert to allow this thing to fly smoothly and stably. The coaxial design, of course, is stable in and of itself, simply because you don't have to deal with the torque from the tail rotor. But in order to make this happen at a model level, the head needs to be engineered at this level of detail. And I hope I never have to repair it. So that's a quick look. In the following chapters, I'll go over the water cannon and we'll take it up in the air and see how it flies.